Hey guys, Danny here. Today we're looking at a GPS drone with a full HD camera. Stay tuned for more details. This is a GPS drone. It also has a full HD camera. It has quite a long flight time of 15 minutes from my own testing. It's also very stable and strong enough to even carry a action camera which I'll show you later on in the video. If you're thinking of purchasing this device I would hold off until you watch the rest of this video. I had some problems connecting to the drone's Wi-Fi and I'll be going into that in more detail shortly. I'll be unboxing this and then I will be doing some flight tests for you. I wasn't able to connect to the Wi-Fi on this drone so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to show you any footage from the camera on the drone so apologies about that. Looking into this further, the drone records over Wi-Fi in 5 gigahertz, um, which is a version of Wi-Fi you would normally find in newer phones. However, my phone is capable of the 5 gigahertz and also another phone that I tried the drone on, but I couldn't get it to work on either phone, unfortunately. Looking into this further, there appears that there could be a region lock. So for example, if you're using an imported drone, then it will only work in the area that has been imported from and the only way that I've seen to get around this is by routing your phone so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to show you any footage so please bear this in mind guys if you are thinking of buying this drone you need to make sure your phone is capable of 5 gigahertz and also that the drone that you're purchasing is also not region locked to a certain channel it appears that not all phone providers have this channel locking so it may vary on your phone it's a little bit of a complicated area that I don't fully understand so if you have any more details please post them in the comments for me and as I said just do a bit of research before you pick up this drone and make sure it will work on your phone. However I was able to fully test flying the drone around and testing out some of the additional features so I'm going to unbox this drone and then we'll jump straight into it. Of course if you'd like to purchase this drone you can find the link in the description. Let's take a look and see what we've got in the box. So here we go, we've got the drone right here. Let's take this out and have a look. This is really well packaged. Nice and secure in there. Drone has a really nice weight to it. It feels quite heavy, quite like that. Um, it makes it feel like it's definitely worth the money. <laughs> so it's got a nice weight to it. We'll have a look at that a bit more in a moment. Here we've got the camera module attaches to the drone. We have got our USB charger which is uh, USB to micro USB. We've also got a little screwdriver and a little wrench here. And this appears to be a clip for the controller to hold your phone. Of course we've also got the controller, again this has a quite a nice weight to it, sticks feel really nice, nice and springy. Quite a sturdy feeling controller. We've also got six propellers, so we've got two as spares, just in case. We've also got a little leaflet telling us where we can get the app from to control the drone via Wi-Fi or view the video feed. And of course our user manual which is in English. This is a really nice little guide, I've read through some of this and it's quite to the point and definitely worth reading. The controller takes four AA batteries. The camera module simply slides into place, you get a nice little click. Now I'm going to show you how to install the propellers. You get this little tool in your kit, this sits on the motors to stop them turning when you're installing the blades. On the diagram in the manual you have a little guide and it shows you which propellers go where, so you've got A and B 
and it shows you which section to put each letter. Then you have two sets of propellers. Underneath they have a letter on them. So you can see this one has A underneath and you simply match that up with the diagram and you're good to go. The holder for your phone has quite a neat way of attaching. So you slide the end onto the aerial here. That's how you install the phone holder. The battery is a 2000 milliamp hour battery, 7.4 volts. It's charged via this small micro USB connection here. So I'm going to charge this up and we will take this for a spin. So before we jump into the full flight video, I wanted to quickly show you the transmitter. On the transmitter, there's a small screen that shows you your controller's battery, which is on the top right, and also the drone's battery level on the top left, as well as the height of the drone and the speed. And there's also some other indicators on here as well, so I really like this feature. To unlock and start the motors, you pull both sticks down and inwards, and to turn the motors off, if you just hold the throttle down, this will turn the motors off when the drone is landed. From here, you can then manually take off, and on the top right of the controller, you can set the switch to what position you can be in. You can be in GPS mode if you have enough satellites. This is displayed on your controller. I was getting about 15 to 16 satellites so I was getting a pretty good GPS connection and it didn't take me too long as you can see the drone is really quite maneuverable it's not super fast but it does have really good maneuverability it turns quite sharply it has really good range and I would say I was probably getting about two to three hundred meters of range before it was losing signal the drone has a return to home feature that worked really well in my testing. You can do this manually by using the switch on the top right of the controller by pulling it all the way down. It also initiates if your battery percentage gets too low or if you lose signal, which happened to me on several occasions. And the drone returned to me really well. It came back really close to where I took off the drone, not exactly the same spot, but it worked really well. It descends nice and slowly and lands really smoothly. I took back control here as I was just testing the feature I didn't want to land because the ground was really muddy. This is a really good feature to have. It makes you feel really confident when you're flying your drone. As good as a pilot you may be, I'm sure all of you have experienced a time when you've been flying a drone where maybe you've lost control, you've had low battery and it's gone into a tree. But with this drone, I haven't really had that fear because anytime there's been a problem, I've either hit the return to home button or it's done it for me and it's come back to my position and it's made me feel really secure. So this is really great if you want a beginner drone, a drone that you're worried that you're not going to be worried that you're going to fly off into the distance and never see it again because even if you fly out of range the drone will come back to you if you lose signal from your controller it's really difficult to lose the drone so I really like this feature. There may have been some other smart features that came with the app but as I said earlier I wasn't able to test this. As I wasn't able to use the Wi-Fi app for the drone and test out the camera, I decided to have some fun and stick my Yi 4K Plus onto the camera to see if it was able to lift it and how much it would affect the maneuverability. I had to kill the audio here when the motors were on full power it made a really loud noise and the camera didn't really pick it up very well so it's just muffled sound. The drone flew really well with the camera. I definitely felt the weight when I was trying to maneuver but I was still able to take the drone really high up. I was able to perform some really tight turns and some fast maneuvers as you can see it performs really well. I was really impressed and it was a lot of fun getting this footage. It turned out really well. When you have an action camera on here that's able to film in 4K, you can get some really nice shots. The drone is also more than capable of flying a few hundred meters in the air and getting some really nice aerial shots. I actually really like this drone. It's a shame that I wasn't able to test out the Wi-Fi and the video recording feature. Other than that, I don't really have any major complaints about this drone. It's a very steady flyer. It has a long battery life of about 15 minutes in my testing. It advertises 15 to 18 minutes, but I was getting pretty consistently about 15 minutes of flight time. 
As you saw, I was also able to put my action camera on this, so it's quite a powerful drone and it, it took off fine and didn't seem to have many problems. It did make the maneuvering a little bit more sluggish, but it did perform pretty well. The return to home feature worked really well. I also love the fact that you could see the battery life for your controller and also the drone on the little display on the controller. I really love that feature. It's really nice just to know if the drone needs charging, what sort of battery percentage you have left if you need to bring the drone in. As I said about the return to home feature, I really like this feature. It actually saved me a couple of times. So there was one instance where I took the drone a bit too far out and I lost signal and I, I lost control of the drone, but it returned to home really well. It, it flew up to a height to avoid the trees. It then came back to my location and it landed fairly close to where I took off the drone. So that's really nice. There was also two occasions where I was really low on battery and the drone again returned to me. It was really steady, it landed perfectly. It was also really close to where I took off. So I really like this feature. It makes you feel really safe flying the drone because even if you fly out of range or you misjudge the battery life, it will still return to you. So I really like this feature, it works really well. I was also able to get a GPS lock fairly quickly. On one of my flight tests for some reason, even though I had a GPS lock, the drone still drifted. I'm not sure why that was. On another time that I tested it, it didn't do this. I did have it in GPS mode, so I'm not sure if there was some other setting that I missed, but that worked great once, and then the second time it didn't seem to work. I'm not sure why. The drone feels really well built. It feels nice and sturdy. I like the battery that goes in the back. It clicks in nice and well. Also, you're able to use a micro USB cable on this. So you can use existing cables and it will still charge really well. So you can use this with your power bank if you want to. So I really like that feature. I also like the fact that the camera is detachable. I still would recommend this drone. I think it is really solid and performs really well. It's just such a shame that the Wi-Fi doesn't work. So it does lose a few, a few points there for me, but if this does work with your phone, I think you're gonna have a really good experience. I've seen some other videos of people flying this drone and the video quality and signal doesn't seem too bad. I really like the controller, it feels high quality. One thing I didn't like was the phone holder. It's fairly sturdy, but it does have a bit of a wobble when you have your phone in it. It's okay, it's better than some of the phone holders that I've used with these drones. A lot of these drones, this is often the weak point. It's not too bad, but um, it is a little bit of annoyance. If you've got quite a heavy phone, it does move around a little bit. I really hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And hey, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more videos like this one. And of course, I will see you in the next one.